Hey guys, this is Nicole Frolic from Inflexible Me, and I am giving you your June reading from, for 2019 straight from the Cayman Islands. I thought I would take advantage of the fact that I only have a couple days left down here, and I thought I'd do your crystal card reading from outdoors in the sunshine in the beautiful tropical weather. So without further ado, everyone, let's find out what's in store for the month of June. We're looking for some guidance, some insight into what to expect through the energies. Uh, angels, guides, can all messages please come through to serve all those who are watching this video to their highest light and their highest good only. Almost came out. Let's see, what's our first card for the month of June? And we have beautiful we have clear kite calcite universal mind I don't think that one's come out in the readings yet um, for these since I've been doing that uh, clear calcite universal mind beautiful okay let's find out what is the second energy to come out for the month of June 2019 just want to say I'm feeling very refreshed after my almost one month semi vacation down here, I'm feeling great. Oh, wow. Okay. We have, wow, we have two cards that came out. All right, together. Looks like we have our cards. We have Moonstone, Mother Goddess, and we also have Red Jasper, Nurturing, Clear Calcite, Moonstone, Red, Japs, Red Jasper. Okay, everyone, I'm just going to sit with the cards for just a moment, and I'll be right back with the reading. All right, everyone, we have a beautiful month of June here. In fact, the message is very interesting. I had to sit with it for a little bit of time because um, we have clear calcite here, universal mind, and universal mind is all about understanding that we are all one. We are all connect connected, uh, this idea of unity, uh, but it also is a crystal that comes up when we are not walking the path that we are meant to be walking. So we are avoiding our truth, we are um, distracted, uh, we are not in alignment with our soul's purpose. So when clear calcite presents itself, I'm feeling like for the month of June that this is kind of uh, some insight into the fact that the collective right now may be awakening. There's a little bit of an awakening happening for this month in a sense of those who are not walking their path and are on that journey of being very close to are now starting to understand what they need to do. Uh, because clear calcite is a, is a very mental stone. It, it is probably one of the most mental stones to work with uh, because it is, brings in so much clarity. Uh, it also brings in a lot of clarity of past lives and bring that, that information to you to the forefront so that you may use the wisdom of your past lives in your current life right now. And I am sensing that this information is, is coming to the surface in June because it's very important or pertinent to your path right now that is aligned with your soul's purpose. So many of you will be um, tapping into this energy of um, wisdom from, from past lives and receiving some clarity and understanding that the when the stone appears it's the advice is it's time to start taking risks and it's time to start working outside of the confines and the rules that have been created for you so it's kind of like this breaking out of the matrix kind of um, advice uh, but also maintaining your own integrity while you do it we then have a moonstone a mother goddess and this is a beautiful divine feminine energy uh, moonstone it's for those of you who live near water uh, moonstone asks you to go near water specifically oceans but if you are landlocked and you are near lakes that that works as well because the moon um, works with the tides of the ocean it allows the messages of the moon to be transmitted through the ocean of the tide now moonstone appears when we are not in our emotion in emotional sovereignty uh, moonstone it, moonstone's gift to us is to feel but not be uh, controlled by our emotions and so when you have when you start awakening to your purpose and you know that you're going to start taking some risks and you're going to be stepping out onto a path uh, that is not within the um, oh not within the context of what most people would say is um, normal 
or acceptable to society, there's a lot of fears and anxieties that come up. And I'm just sensing that the reason why Moonstone is coming up is that for those of you who are finally um, feeling the courage and the need to step onto this path and leave this old path, uh, this kind of path that was designed for the matrix behind, you're going to be presented with these fears and anxieties coming up. And so the advice here with Moonstone is to sit with the emotions, not let them, not let them control you, um, not let them uh, govern you, but witness them. Allow them to come up and just feel them and observe them because I do sense that they will have ties to your past lives um, and some of the emotions that were coming up in that time that need to be healed at this present time, which is probably possibly what some of the blocks that some of you are facing when you um, move forward into this new path, a new journey that is in alignment with your soul's um, highest mission. Uh, then we have red jasper nurturing so red jasper comes up when um, it is time for a lot of self-love uh, this is very important to work with red jasper um, because if you want to be of service to the collective the the most important thing that you can do is to learn how to truly love yourself so if you're someone who tends to give more to others than to yourself this is a message that for this month of June you really want to pay attention to um, nurturing yourself because when you nurture yourself you're in a much higher position and much um, stronger position to be of service to others and it's important when you're going through um, when you're starting to receive such mental clarity especially when it pertains to um, your past lives and integrating that information and wisdom into this current time period um, and you're and you're going through a lot of this emotional kind of upheaval because it does bring up a lot of stuff to the surface and a lot of times it's a bit scary and overwhelming. Um, you you want to be very present with yourself and nurturing yourself because it's very important to the grounding effect. And this stone is very grounding and grounding into Mother Earth. So I feel like it's about you want to be nurturing yourself so that you can. Um, really take this strong mental clarity energy emotional sovereignty and ground it ground it into mother earth here in this 3d physical life right now so this is my reading for the uh, month of june it sounds like some uh it's going to be a pretty big month for many on taking some risks and stepping out onto the path this actually did come up in a couple of my june readings i know water signs uh wait for that to pass <laughs> um, because oh clear calcite is also about not allowing um, fragmentation to happen and um, soul retrieval was part of the water signs video so and then I know that I think it was with the fire signs that there is a lot of um, kind of it's time to really kind of step onto your path and take the risk and give to yourself so fire signs and water signs video might be pertinent to those of you who are really resonating with this message for June. Um, there may be some extra messages in those videos for you. Um, but yeah, it's really important to ground, ground this beautiful mental clarity that is coming through of knowing exactly how your path is starting to unfold, but then allowing the emotions to come up so that they may be released and healed so that you can then ground this solid wisdom and energy into your path and start taking the action uh, needed and, and, and that is necessary for you to begin your new journey here outside of the matrix. All right, everyone, that is my message. I love you all. If you need any more information about me, please head on over to my website, inflexibleme.com. Uh, you can also check out my podcast, Enlighten Up. All that information is in the description below. And if you want, you can sign up to my newsletter that is on my website. Guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful month of June.